Here's the latest from Earth Now. This display shows the NOAA Climate Digest for April 2013. The Climate Digest summarizes noteworthy statistics for the month, season, and year. The average global land and ocean temperature for April was the 13th warmest on record. The United States experienced its coolest April since 1997. The average high temperatures for Australia were the fifth warmest on record. Meanwhile, Korea experienced its third coolest April since records began in 1973. The United Kingdom also experienced a cool April. April 2013 tied with April 2012 as the coolest April since 1989. Now, we'll turn to the Arctic sea ice extent. The April sea ice extent for the Arctic was 2.6% below the 1981 to 2010 average. This makes it the seventh smallest ice extent on record for the month of April. Finally, we'll move to Antarctica and discover that its sea ice extent for April was over 9.1% above the 1981 to 2010 average, making it the fifth largest ice extent on record. This real-time dataset is updated monthly and shows the global land and ocean temperature anomalies. Anomalies are simply departures from average. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal temperatures, whereas red colors indicate warmer than normal temperatures. White indicates near average conditions. We'll take a look at three areas. First, we can see the deep blue colors over much of the U.S indicating the below average temperatures. As discussed earlier, Australia experienced above average high temperatures. We can see that most of the above average temperatures were concentrated in the western portion of the country in April. Lastly, we can see the cooler than normal conditions experienced across northern Europe. This real-time dataset shows sea surface temperature anomalies measured by NOAA satellites. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures, whereas red indicates warmer than normal sea temperatures. In the eastern tropical Pacific, water temperatures hovered around average, meaning that no El Nino or La Nina conditions were present. The Climate Prediction Center expects this to continue through at least the northern hemisphere summer. Now, take a look at some of the ocean temperature differences around the world. This real-time dataset collected by microwave sensors on NOAA satellites shows snow and ice cover updated daily. Watch the progression of days and note the retreat and expansion of snowfall. And that's your April 2013 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.